curious do you feel about animals? Do you ever wonder if the incredible facts and stories you've heard about them are real or fiction? Well, you're in for a wild ride. Today, we're diving deep into the captivating world of the animal kingdom to debunk some of the most enduring myths and misconceptions that have been passed down for generations. Get ready, and here we go. Myth number one, ostriches bury their heads in the sand. Contrary to the myth that ostriches bury their heads in the sand when they're scared, this behavior is purely a misconception. Ostriches are known for their incredible speed and keen eyesight, which allows them to detect threats from afar. When faced with danger, they don't bury their heads, but instead may lay flat on the ground. This posture helps them blend into their surroundings, minimizing their visibility. However, their heads remain above the surface, giving them a strategic advantage in monitoring their environment. Ostriches are incredibly cautious birds, and their remarkable adaptations contribute to their survival in the wild. Myth number two. Bats are blind. The widely held belief that bats are blind is far from accurate. In reality, bats are equipped with remarkable night vision, making them incredibly proficient at navigating in complete darkness. Furthermore, many bat species use echolocation, a sophisticated sonar system, to locate prey and obstacles during flight. This highly developed sensory capability allows them to detect objects as fine as a human hair in complete darkness. So rather than being blind, bats are among the most visually acute creatures in the animal kingdom. Their unique abilities have evolved over millions of years, enabling them to excel in their nocturnal lifestyle. Myth number three. Lemmings commit mass suicides. Lemmings have become infamous for allegedly committing mass suicides by leaping off cliffs. This myth was perpetuated by a staged Disney documentary in the 1950s. While lemmings do engage in mass migrations, they don't intentionally hurl themselves off cliffs en masse. These migrations are typically driven by overpopulation and the search for new habitats and food sources. Lemmings are small, resilient rodents well adapted to their harsh Arctic environments. They are not suicidal creatures, but rather exhibit complex behaviors crucial for their survival in extreme conditions. Myth number four. All snakes are venomous. Not all snakes are venomous, despite the myth that suggests otherwise. The truth is, the majority of snake species are non-venomous. Only a small fraction of snakes possess venom, which they use primarily for hunting and self-defense. Most snakes are harmless and play crucial roles in ecosystems by controlling pest populations. In fact, snakes are remarkable creatures with diverse adaptations, from the incredible flexibility of their bodies to their sensory mechanisms like heat-sensing pits and specialized scales. Understanding the differences between venomous and non-venomous snakes is essential for promoting coexistence with these vital members of our natural world. Myth number five. Daddy longlegs are the most venomous spiders. Daddy longlegs, often mistaken for spiders, are not venomous nor are they actual spiders. These arachnids belong to a different order called apillions. Unlike true spiders, they lack venom glands and fangs, and they do not produce silk. Daddy longlegs are fascinating in their own right. Known for their delicate long legs and round bodies, they play important roles in ecosystems by helping decompose organic matter and serving as prey for various predators. So while they may resemble spiders at first glance, they are distinct creatures with their unique characteristics and functions in the natural world. Myth number six. Camels store water in their humps. The myth that camels store water in their humps is a common misconception. In reality, camels store fat in their humps, not water. These fatty deposits serve as a source of energy and nourishment when water and food are scarce, such as in the arid desert environments where camels are commonly found. Their remarkable adaptation allows them to survive in harsh conditions as they can metabolize the stored fat to produce both water and energy. Camels have played vital roles in the lives of desert-dwelling human communities for centuries, serving as reliable modes of transportation and sources of sustenance. Myth number seven. Penguins only live in cold climates. Penguins are often associated with icy habitats, but this myth 
neglects the fact that some penguin species inhabit warmer climates. For instance, the Galapagos penguin is found near the equator, living on the Galapagos Islands. These penguins have adapted to the warmer waters and unique environmental conditions of the region. They are among the world's smallest penguin species and are well suited to the warmer climate. While many penguin species do thrive in cold Antarctic waters, the diversity of penguins across different habitats showcases their adaptability and resilience as a group of birds. Myth number eight. Porcupines can shoot their quills. Porcupines are often thought to be capable of shooting their quills as a form of defense. However, this is a misconception. Porcupines have sharp quills on their bodies that can be released upon contact or if a predator gets too close. The quills are not shot, but rather detach easily and embed themselves in the attacker when touched. This adaptation serves as an effective deterrent, as the quills are covered in tiny barbs that make them difficult to remove. While porcupines rely on this defense mechanism when threatened, they are generally peaceful creatures that prefer to avoid confrontation in the first place. Myth number nine. Kangaroos can't move their hind legs independently. The myth that kangaroos cannot move their hind legs independently is untrue. Kangaroos possess the ability to move each hind leg separately, a skill that contributes to their remarkable agility and hopping motion. Their powerful tails aid in maintaining balance during rapid movements. Kangaroos are well adapted to their native Australian habitats, where their unique mode of locomotion allows them to cover vast distances efficiently while conserving energy. Their strong hind legs are not only essential for locomotion, but also play a vital role in their survival strategies, such as leaping to escape predators. Myth number 10. Bulls are enraged by the color red. The widely held belief that bulls are enraged by the color red is a myth perpetuated by popular culture. In reality, bulls are colorblind to red, as well as other colors. What actually triggers their aggressive behavior during bullfights is not the color of the matador's cape, muleta, but the movement of the fabric. Matadors wave the cape vigorously to taunt and challenge the bull, provoking its aggressive responses. This myth has led to misunderstandings about the sensory capabilities of bulls, emphasizing the need to rely on science and accurate information when discussing animal behavior. Understanding these animals' true nature is essential for promoting more compassionate treatment and interaction with them in various contexts. If you found this content entertaining, please hit the like button and subscribe for more.